out and then uh, so you get tours of the village? I do, yes. Yeah. Uh, my name is Michael, I give Christopher Street tours. So we start on Christopher Street talking about LGBTQ history, talking about you, uh, at Julius, and everything you've done for the movement. It's incredible, really. Thank you. How do people find out about the tours? So online, ChristopherStreetTours.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, we give LGBTQ history tours. And how many people come? And how many of them are gay? And how many of them are straight? <laughs> Most of them are gay, but we do have some straight folks that come. Uh, we give tours. Sometimes, you know, it's as small as two, three, four people. Sometimes it's as many as 30, so it just depends. Uh, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm glad that you found a way to make some money doing education. Well, sure. Independent yeah. education. It's uplifting the stories of those that came before me, so that's what it's about. Wonderful. But We need a lot of education about a lot of issues. It's important. Yeah, yeah we, we give free tours they for youth. Um, if I have a chance to talk at the rally, yeah. I want to talk about getting the statues of Sylvia and Marsha built uh, out of the intersection of 6th Avenue yes. and uh, Clinic Street. Yes. And I also want to get raise the issue that I don't care what replaces it, we'll talk about that later, yeah. to get General Sheridan, yeah. who committed That's genocide right. against the Native Americans yeah. and who almost exterminated the bison, he should not be sitting in the middle of our Stonewall National Monument, you know, let him go and be on some, you know, Sheridan Square is just a few feet away, well, let him go and be put in some Civil War yep. battlefield yep. where he fought the right fight against slavery. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, the, the thing is, you don't want to talk about what you're going to replace him with. Yeah. Because that's going to be, I'm not going to live long enough to see that, that argument settled. Sure. But I well, want to get the ball rolling. I really do. It's a good start, I yeah. think, for sure. Um, I'm going to help in any way I can with that fight. It's important. Yeah. A, a lot of people well, on my tour. it on your tours. I was, a lot of people on my tour, they ask, oh, who's that guy up there? Did he have anything to do with the movement? And of course, I'm like, no, nothing. Um, yeah, but you should really read, read what he did. I mean, I'll he, have to look he into couldn't that. defeat the Indians because he was military formation. So he had the only way I can defeat them is to deny them a source of food. Wow. Because they would come roaming in and he was a little marching along in military fashion. So they literally said they killed them. Millions and millions of buffalo were laying and wasting across and bit by bit until they got only like 500 bison left in Yellowstone National Park. And then Teddy Roosevelt, yeah. get this, does a double whammy and sends General Sheridan to save the buffalo. Oh, really? Yeah, from wow. extermination. Wow. You know, so it's, it's almost like too late politics to want to cover up of the real story of what the man was about. Yeah. If you give me your card, I'll sure. email you. I'll email you the links. You know, I don't think I have one on me. No, I'll give. I'll give you my card. All right, and then I can email you. Great. That would be fantastic.